Man, oh man, has it been a long and stressful week. And what better way to relieve some stress than head to the Magic Kingdom. Good morning everyone, I'm Danny702 and today we are at the Magic Kingdom. It's just a few short hours after Hurricane Dorian and I was just kind of curious what Disney looks like after a major hurricane. And I definitely have everyone in the Bahamas in my heart. It is heartbreaking to see some of those pictures that are coming out because that Category 5 just sat on them for over 24 hours. If you guys don't know, I am new to Orlando. I moved here less than two months ago, so that was my first experience with any kind of hurricane. So Orlando really didn't get anything. To be honest, I didn't even notice it at night. Let's go check it out. It's about noon right now, and as you can see, operations are back to normal here at Disney. It's just a little windy out, a little bit of clouds, sprinkles here and there. Otherwise, it's looking good. Hey guys, I don't have any food for you, I'm sorry. And that's my feet, that's my feet. That is my feet. Man, I'm telling you, nothing can shake a bad mood or a stressful move than coming here to the Magic Kingdom. I already felt like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I was pretty stressful getting prepared for that hurricane, knowing, not knowing anything about hurricanes coming from the west coast. The sugar on top is that it is pretty quiet here. Look at Adventureland, I'm walking in right now. Usually these walkways are packed. Let's do pirates, we got a 10 minute wait on this. Well, that was a straight walk on. Here's our boat. Literally a no minute wait. Right there. over here. Hey, he's over here. I see him. Here's the new red one. The gentleman wants the rum. Don't you, boy? He is well. And you will get to see the look on Captain Jack Sparrow's face. This one's funny. He's like looting all the hats. I'm gonna go with Disneyland Pirates over Disney World, but I would say Disney World Haunted Mansion over Disneyland. We're gonna do this one too, standby at 10, but I'm sure it's less than that, just like Pirates. I haven't been on this one either since I've moved here, but I have heard that it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Oh, that was fun. The last time I was walking down this street, it was so packed you can barely walk. Look at all this space I have. That my mom was supposed to come on Tuesday and her flight got canceled. They shut down the whole airport and then she was supposed to come today. She went and had it rescheduled. And this morning I woke up and her flight was canceled again. But she moved it to tomorrow and then randomly found one for tonight. So she's flying in tonight. I'm so thankful because my mom is my best friend. I cannot wait to see her and show her around Orlando. Definitely looking up after that stressful week. This puddled a bit. Whatever they're doing here on Liberty Square. I think usually you can't really see past it either. You usually have like scrim up. They took that down for the hurricane. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. We're heading into Tomorrowland because I have a fast pass for Space Mountain. Oh yeah. Off camera I jumped onto the Haunted Mansion and had no wait as well. I didn't film that because I think I filmed it the last two times I was at the Magic Kingdom. I actually did a whole video on the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion's, well Disneyland version, but we were here at Disney World. And I'll link that, I don't know if it's here or if it's here, but I'll link it up there somewhere. I just realized I don't know where I'm going. I just headed over to the right side of Tomorrowland because that's where it is at Disneyland. <laughs> but it's not over here. The Carol's Hall of Progress is over here. Ah, oh, it's over there. Okay. Space Mountain. I'm going to attempt to film this, but you're going to see a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> That was a rough ride. 
about a five minute wait for the Tomorrowland cars. I wanted to call it Autopia, but it's different here, right? It's just not called that. Okay, Tomorrowland Speedway. All right, let's see how I do with one hand. I'm trying to vlog with the other hand. Come on, man, let's go. I'm on the wrong side of the road. We're like in the UK here. Oh, oh no. What's the first thing will you do when you get into the car? Floor it. This one's easier to maneuver than the one at Disneyland. So the one at Disneyland, I think our track is like way, 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 way better. They even have like that whole off-roading scene there. We're going on a fast pass for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. My favorite Disney character is Piglet. I think because, well I loved Winnie the Pooh, I watched all of the shows when I was young, but Piglet was always like shy and timid and small, just like me. We're gonna be getting into a honey pot. Hope it's not sticky. Hold on, Piglet! Oh no! collection of piglet dolls at home. I don't have this one, I'm so tempted. Here are the crowds in Fantasyland, not too shabby. I kind of just remembered that. Gosh, what year was it? 1990, I'll have to look it up, but there was a big earthquake in Northridge, California, and me, my sister, and my mom were seeing the night at the Disneyland Hotel when the earthquake actually hit. So we did go to the park the day after and I remember it was like completely dead too. Oh my gosh, Peter Pan's only at 30 minutes. Should we do it? I think we'll do it. This, this, this. Oh, Nana. I know I just said that Piglet was my favorite Disney character, but I think my favorite Disney movie is Peter Pan. I do love that pan, man. I think we're getting dusted with some pixie dust. Okay, that was like maybe 10 minutes, maybe less than that. Oh, the streets of London. Here we are in the Mermaid Lagoon. Oh no, I'm making your walk the plane. You know, they say never smile at a crocodile. Should we do it's a small world? I'm sure that's a walk on. Let's do it. This is crazy to see it indoors. You know, I'm getting hungry, so I'm debating on uh, leaving soon, but I just want to ride all the rides that I can. I can't believe how short all of these lines are. I don't know when the next time that I'll be able to come with the line so short like this. I think this is my eighth ride of the day. I, I kind of lost count here. So I'm just like, keep on going and keep on going see how many I can do. But I'm getting pretty hungry. I usually don't eat in the park because I live so close by. So, you know, save money. I try to eat before and after. Oh my God, look, there's no one in front of me. See? Oh man, this guy's going fast. Whoa. He's making me dizzy just looking at him. Ooh la la. This reminds me of the Grand Canal shops in Vegas. Get pity, bro. You know what I think we'll do? Let's just do an even 10 ride. And then I also grabbed a fast pass for, oh, it's bright out here. I also grabbed a fast pass for the uh, Buzz Lightyear ride. I think it's called like, you know what? I have no idea what it's called. But it's, so let's just get an even 10 out there within, I don't know what, maybe three hours that we've been here. And then I'm gonna call it a day so I can head home and get some food in my belly. Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, it's a fresh new walkway. A walk right on on Jungle Cruise. Now, a lot of people ask us why we call it Inspiration Falls. Uh, we call it that because the longer you stare at that rushing, gushing water, the more it will inspire you to go. Sir, please don't feed your child to the hippos. What are you doing back there? Doing it, ride number 10, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. Multitasking is very, very hard. And I gotta do this left handed. Mike Wazowski? Oh, you spin! Oh, come on. Amateur here. Oh, oh there's someone here. Oh, 
Sven's too. No, Sven. Oh, there's one there. No, no, no. You know. What you doing? Oh, God. I don't know what I'm shooting at. My points haven't moved, like, at all. Come on, Danny. Whoa, what is this? Can we shoot at this? I think I'm supposed to shoot something and I'm getting points somehow and I'm just kind of like shooting at random right now. Oh man. Yeah, it does. Remember, doing and beyond. Well, that was one crazy day. We did 10 rides all in I think three and a half hours. I believe I got here around 11.30 to 12 and it's about 3.15 right now. So I guess the takeaway is if you are coming during hurricane season, if the hurricane disrupts your vacation, maybe the silver lining is right after that hurricane passes, you will have Disney as empty as we did today. I mean, gosh, 10 rides in three and a half hours, it's like unheard of on just a normal operating day. It's also just like high spirited here and it makes you feel good and it kind of release all the stress from that hurricane that just hit. So I'm glad that I got to come. Well, please subscribe for more adventures. My Instagram and my Patreon will be in that description box below. Take time to explore your town and we'll see you later. Thank you.